how you doing guys and welcome back welcome back to the west coast yeah we took a break because uh if you guys saw the videos from the miami boat rally we had a great time but we were still tired and we decided to just hit west and relax and actually it's late afternoon right now i would say it's gonna be around five so we've been lazy here at the house but you know it's the weekend you gotta be in the water and it is father's day weekend so happy father's day to all those dads out there doing a great job and doing the best they can so yes we're here on the west coast for father's day weekend and just relaxing just relaxing and uh just gonna enjoy the the island hopper for a little bit you know it's just we didn't want to get the hot sun from the midday but uh, i'm gonna give you guys a little mango check yeah these mangoes are taking long maybe because they're so big check them out they're huge look at that i mean i haven't ate one yet you know look at that. they're really big check it out look how big they are yeah you know i'm waiting for them yeah <laughs> so yeah the, the tree has plenty look at that i mean they're everywhere so we're waiting for that that's another reason why i wanted to come to the west coast check on the mangoes because uh i want to taste uh fresh con joe they've been riding the, the island hopper while me and ogita and gabby just been lazy here at the house but you know you gotta do it you gotta jump in the water you gotta go wet especially for this day because you're supposed to please your dad, right? So I'm the dad, and I want to get wet, so they're gonna take me out to get wet. Uh oh, we got the sheriff in the house. The shrimp. The shrimp? <laughs> I said the sheriff, not the shrimp. <laughs> I guess uh, pick, pick, pick in his seat. Pick in his seat. Right here over there. On the island hopper. To answer a lot of people's questions that have been asking me why did I get a Mercury two-stroke it's because I'm old school and I like the noise because the same way I like the deep rumble from the inboards I love the high whine from the two-stroke outboard yep I'm that noisy neighbor driving by So that's how we do it. We're leaving the house behind right there. Bye bye. Oh, yes. Look at that. Loving the view right from the backyard. Check it out. Loving it. Loving it. Uh, I don't know. Afternoon drive or cruise, whatever you want to call it. we doing it right now. Like that, we don't get the 12 o'clock killer sun. And I really enjoy this. The boys take care of the driving, the ropes, and the maneuvering the boat through the channel while I just grab the camera and record and while others just sit around and enjoy the ride and sunbathe I guess there is plenty of enjoyment to go around for everyone and the best part for me is this is like sea therapy and just the other day while I was doing the live stream Somebody asked me, how did I get my kids to drive the boat? Well, it's simple. Believe it or not, kids are more able than parents think. You just have to give them a chance and supervise them, and you'll see that they'll get it. Just give them a quick tutorial of what things do and what happens if you turn this way, that way, and the trim tabs and the acceleration. And believe it or not, when they like something, they'll get it, they'll understand it, and maybe even drive better than you. I remember when I used to sit Fresquito on my lap and he was about eight years old and he used to drive the boat and now look at this he's driving us around and he does a good job because he adjusts the trim tabs and the trim on the motor to adjust the boat for a better ride and Joel is also a good driver and most of the time they alternate and also to answer another question about the island hopper 
people ask me how fast is the cruise well right now we're running on 4000 rpm and it cruises about 30 miles an hour And here it is, music to my ears, the whining of two stroke. And we have reached Sanibel Bridge that we were planning to go over to Boca Grande, but since uh, we were kind of lazy and hit the water at 5 p.m., I figured it's too late to travel that far. go stop by a Sanibel Beach and just hang out on the inside part here because uh, it looks pretty cool. It's a free boaters out here but we're gonna join them have some fun in the sun and the late sun. Right there. Yeah. We're in the waters. We're in the waters. So how does it feel on the island hopper? Good, feels good. Right there, how you like? I love it. We just made it to Sanibel Beach on the inside part. Got some boaters right there. Lost my sandal. Come here, sandal. Come here. <laughs> now, how cool is that? We get to pick whatever beach or island we want to go to right from the backyard. I mean, to me, that's a million dollars right there. Sorry, guys. So, we're gonna hang out for a little bit here, avoiding the wind because it's really windy. So, check it out. Look how cool this is. That Sanibel Beach uh, Park there. Right there, that's a fishing pier. I don't know if you can see it. But we're just gonna hang out here. Have some fun in the late sun with the island hopper. Look at this, guys. Look, look, look. In the water, it's clear. Oh, semi clear. Semi clear. It's clearing up. I mean, it is late. There's no sun. It's cloudy over here. But we're still gonna enjoy it though. Because now we don't have to get fried from the sun. So this is like what my parents used to do when I was little. They would wait till like five o'clock in the afternoon, jump in the car and go to like Hollywood Beach or Hollandale Beach and uh, do an afternoon, you know, swimming in the water with the kids. Now I do it right from my backyard with the island hopper and my kids. Same idea, different scenario, I guess. Man, what are you doing? Shell hunting? Again? Oh, I was thinking of making, uh, making, uh, making myself a necklace. Like, yeah, there's a few shows here. That's the thing about the West Coast. It don't matter what beach, island, place you go, there's shows either. The shows there. And there's shows right there. Check it out. More shows there. And oh, more shows here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's shows everywhere. Look at that the whole strip so we're just here enjoying a late late afternoon swim on the island hopper and i guess there's a few more people with the same idea here hanging out and i'll get the usual 
scavenging for shells. The water feels good. I mean, I'm kind of glad the sun went away a little bit. It's a little cloudy. Cause like that, I don't get burnt. Cause we got fried from the Miami boat rally. I mean, I'm peeling right now, but I don't know if you can see on the camera, but well, we got cooked. So that's all of this. That's what it is. Just hanging out, relaxing today. Look at that. What do you hear? You hear just what I like. The water crashing into the shore. It's perfect for me. No music, no people screaming. Just West Coast sea laxing. So here it is. Sometimes when people watch my West Coast video, they consider this boring. But to me, this is relaxing and enjoyable. And it is exactly what we're looking for because we want to enjoy time in the water at our own pace and doing whatever we please. Fresco and Joel are practicing their cast net. Hogita's picking shells. And me, I'm just looking around and enjoying the sounds of the waves crashing onto the shore. And I know the sea laxing and chillaxing is not for everyone, but the same thing, all the crazy party atmosphere in Miami is not for everyone either. I'm just really lucky and blessed I could do both and share it with you guys around the world via YouTube. I guess it's one of those things that if you live in a quiet town, you want a vacation where it's loud. And then if you live in a loud town, you want a vacation where it's quiet. I guess it's like when the kids ask me, how come I don't play loud music on the boat? And I tell them, I've been around music all my life. So when I'm on the boat, I just want to enjoy the peace and quiet of the ocean. And I guess Ogita never had shells in her life. That's why now she's taking all of them. All right, guys, so check this out. We got Joel is gonna show us how good he is with a cast net. Show him what you got, show him what you got. Ah, pretty good. Well, anyway, make sure you catch anything. You catch anything? Anything? Nothing? Nope, no luggy luggy. Check this out, we got a native really close. Look, look how close he is to your oil. Look, he's waiting for that fish. So where my fish at, boy? Check this out. Joel just made a friend. Look at it. He's waiting for you all to catch some fish. That's really cool. Check this out. Joel and Fleco made two friends here at the beach. Pretty smart. I guess they know to see the cast net. Cast net means free food. Well, I guess this is like a suspense movie because the birds are waiting for Joel and Fresco to catch fish and I'm waiting for the bird to see how many fish they take from Joel and Fresco. But as far as I can see, they're not having any luck. And talking about luck, I wonder if the people fishing from the pier have any. Has anybody been fishing on the Sanibel 
fishing pier? If you have, let me know what you caught. And I noticed that some of our boating friends are taking off, but we're gonna stay here a little longer. And you know why? It's because I didn't bring a watch. Because we don't keep time while we're in the water. And look at this. We have almost the whole beach to ourselves. And if you like this place so far and you want to visit, you don't need a boat to get here. You can also come by a car. It's called Lighthouse Beach Park. And we are in the inside Bay Area. And it's usually calm. But if you want to go to the beach side, you can. That's where most of the beachgoers go. If you guys want to see a video on that, I'm going to leave a link on the description below. Okay, so I guess the suspense movie is over. And they didn't catch anything, so I guess the birds didn't need anything. But we are because we brought some snacks, just in case we stay longer than expected. So we spent here about two and a half hours or maybe three. I mean, I don't really know because like I said, I don't keep time when I'm on the water. But you know what time it is though? No, 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 no. Not sausage time, but pick up time and get going because we have a 45 minute drive back. And I know that might seem like a long time, but for us, it seems like seconds because we enjoy being on the water so much, even if it means driving back home. So we leaving a little. So how you like the little ride today? Love it. A little saying goodbye to Santa Bell. We're gonna just cruise our way back. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect lazy afternoon. Just like I like it. Lazy. Enjoying the lake. Late water, no sun. I mean, I like it like this. like the afternoon drive on the water you like the island hopper you hopping around so how many show what was your I shows like it, I like it the, the sun. I like this time to go on right yeah it's good right so we got the driver and we got the anchor man and we got the cameraman so there you go afternoon boating at the west coast yes relaxing Relaxing. That's, I guess that's why the West Coast is stress-free. Because when you get to do stuff like this, it's mind relaxing. You know, you get, you jump on the boat, go to the nearest island or the island you like going to. Uh, you know, get as close as you can, do some shell picking, uh, do some cast netting, then not catch another. And me, I just do, you know, relax and record. And that's it. They caught two pinfish. Three. Two but, pin. But one of the but um, what's it called? The crane. The crane ate one. <laughs> they caught three pinfish and one of the cranes ate one. <laughs>
But you know, we'll let him go because we didn't we didn't come equipped with the right rod, so you know, we wasn't gonna make the fish suffer, so we threw him back. So we're just cruising back, enjoying it. It's actually it's pretty cool, right? It's not even hot anymore. It's cool, right? Yeah, I'm like I'm kind of wet, so it's really good. Yeah, the water is warm. It feels really good. That's it. What is show? Hanging out.